The scream of the Kansas City fans echoed in Travis Kelce's ears as he scrolled through social media, his post-game excitement diminishing, his phone buzzed and a photo of Taylor, his megastar lover, appeared on the screen. She stood backstage, guitar slung over her shoulder and a huge grin on her face. However, the caption stole the show. Celebratory high fives to my favorite touchdown machine. Number Kelscrew. Travis snorted. Kelscrew? Taylor was adorable, the ideal combination of sweet and supportive. A grin tugged at his lips, broader than any in the game. He knew Taylor was doing a performance in Nashville that night, and he felt a sense of disappointment when he realized he couldn't attend. However, this tiny gesture caused the miles to melt away. Suddenly, his phone vibrated again. This time, it was a FaceTime call. He responded with a delighted yell. Touchdown celebration in progress. Taylor's warm and pleased expression filled the screen. Hey, touchdown machine. I saw the highlights. Unbelievable capture. Thanks, Tay, he chuckled, the way her voice softened when she spoke that moniker still sending goosebumps down his spine. You were amazing tonight too. From the sound of it, the crowd was incredible, she exclaimed. But see that number Kelscrew sign in the front row? It melted my heart. Travis's grin faded for a second. A sign? He had not spotted one. Sign. As if on cue. A hand with a giant, glittering placard stating number Kelscrew in bold letters entered the frame behind Taylor. She swatted it playfully. Looks like someone snuck a little support backstage. Travis's mouth fell. Taylor Swift's father, Scott Swift, held the placard with a malicious grin in his eye. Memories poured back, including the awkward high five. After the lyric change at the concert a few months ago, and Scott's whispered promise to give Travis a proper welcome into the family. Scott! Travis shouted, his voice full of amazement and delight. Scott winked, I'm only repaying the favor, big guy. Now go get some rest, you've earned it. He winked again before disappearing off screen. Taylor giggled. Looks like you have a new fan club, Travis Culse. Travis could only look, astonished, with a flush crawling up his neck. It wasn't just a charming caption anymore. This was a full-fledged Kelsgrew plot, hatched by his most loyal admirer and favorite singer. He shook his head, a huge grin spread across his face. You guys Taylor's smile softened. We're proud of you, Travis. Her genuine voice wrapped around him like a comforting hug. At that point the lights, touchdowns, and shouting fans all faded away. All that left was the love and support that emanated from the phone screen. He closed his eyes, a foolish smile on his face. All right, all right, he said, his voice full of emotion. Travis Kels was generally able to tune out the crowd's roar. But when he stepped off the field phone in hand, the quiet was deafening. Travis's teammates were whooping and spectators were yelling his name, but all he could see was a single tweet on his screen. It was from Taylor. His name is Taylor. The caption simply stated, my lucky charm. Number 13, D13. His jersey number. Except for one detail, it appears benign. Taylor was known for her cryptic lyrics and easter eggs strewn throughout her work. This was no coincidence. This was a declaration. Travis's face was covered in a silly grin as big as a touchdown celebration. He fumbled with his phone and nearly dropped it. This wasn't the first time Taylor had publicly expressed her support but the level of passion was unprecedented. During a recent event, he heard whispers of a lyric change, naming a certain tight end with a smile. What about a social media shout-out? This was a touchdown on an entirely new level. Suddenly, the locker room exploded. His teammates, unaware of his secret joy, showered him with celebration water bottles. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Travis yelled, attempting to shield his phone. You guys see this? He asked brandishing the tweet, the image temporarily obscured by the spray. The room became quiet. Ten hardcore football players, the majority of whom would never listen to pop music, leaned in, intrigued. Travis read Taylor's tweet aloud, his tone tinged with disbelief. A beat of startled quiet ensued. Then comes chaos. Guys were yelling, clapping Travis on the back, and demanding information. Travis, still grinning like a kid in a candy store attempted to explain the meaning of the number 13. She's never done anything like this before, he said again, shaking his head. The triumph that day was wonderful, but Travis knew the real success was taking place on his phone. 
Taylor, the queen of songs and secrets, had recently anointed a familiar face appeared on his screen. Taylor, her smile radiating brightness even through the filtered glow, he clicked on the post, which had a picture of her cuddled up with a cat and a caption underneath. It began normally enough with a musing on the value of relaxation and feline company. But then there's this last sentence. I always come home to the nicest snuggles. Thank you, T. Kels. Four small words, T. Kels. A light-hearted nickname, a secret they'd shared from the start. A nickname that, frankly, jolted him harder than any linebacker tackle. He glanced at the TV with a slack jaw. Public, Taylor, the mistress of cryptic lyrics and secret messages, had just announced him as her personal snuggling champion to the world. His phone hummed with incoming texts, and the Kels family group chat was already bursting. His mother would never let him live this down. A cheeky grin appeared on his face. He grabbed his phone and dashed to his own social media, the friendly rivalry between him and Taylor being a well-documented source of entertainment for their supporters. He discovered a photo of himself stretched on the couch post-practice with their cat measles draped possessively over his chest. Challenge accepted, T-Swizzle, number snuggle keying he wrote in the caption. Within minutes, the internet exploded. Number Swiftles became a worldwide trending topic. Photoshopped images of Travis catching footballs one-handed while holding a cat appeared. Fans discussed the effectiveness of their snuggling strategy. Later that night, his phone vibrated again. Taylor sent a text with a single emoji. A joyful cat winking. He laughed, his adrenaline pumping even harder harder than after a game-winning score. Perhaps the offseason won't be so horrible after all. Travis Kelce's offseason was filled with a different intensity this year. Training was as hard as ever, but there was a spring in his step and a goofy grin that lingered a beat too long. Who is the culprit? Taylor Swift shared a strange social media post. It wasn't much, just a photo of a crimson scarf, a big statement for the California sunshine, with the remark, thinking of number 87. Travis's jersey number was, unsurprisingly, number 87. The internet went crazy, with Swifties and Chiefs supporters alike, decoding the Travis himself was unsure. Sure, they had been seeing each other for a while, in between her tour and his training routine. But Taylor was notoriously private, which Travis, a loud, noisy personality, respected. He readied himself for the media frenzy that would ensue if she ever acknowledged him publicly. Then came the unveiling of her new album, Daylight. The lead single, Sparks Fly, remix, was a bombshell. It was the same song she'd released years before, but with a heart-stopping twist. In the bridge, where she had previously sung about looking for love, a new lyric appeared, sweet and breathy. Then you walked in, a smile like sunshine number 87 on your back, suddenly everything's alright. Travis was in the locker room, stretching with his phone rested against his water bottle, when the familiar tune began. He froze. His teammates, who were normally unconcerned with his personal life, paused their conversation and focused on his phone. As the new verse began, there was a collective gasp throughout the room. Travis's face heated red. He fumbled with his phone, the lyrics a strange combination of his jersey number and his team nickname. He stammered, attempting to explain, but his teammate.